I, I think this gets at a um, something else that really just pervades all of the society that, that surrounds us is this kind of um, like an, an, a process of atomization or, or specialization and um, isolation in some way. Um, and uh, I, this seems to be a really powerful modality for um, not having um, like a, a living experience that is separate from a healing experience. Um, you know, to me, it, it really poses the question, how can we um, um, live our healing um, mm -hmm. and uh, heal our living in, in the process mm -hmm. um, rather than, you know, have, have it, um, you know, our, our bodies are, and our responses are really just brilliant. You know, our, um, our, our SMA really is an intelligence and an echo from a, a past intelligence that is responding to an environmental cue. Mm -hmm. um, um, but uh, now that we've become aware of that, that you know, kind of pre-programmed intelligence, how can we build upon that? How can we um, expand it so that you know our, our healthcare is not just when we when we go, ow, that hurts. You know, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, how can we we can we, we can permeate that that sense of, of or that that process of ow, that hurts more deeply mm -hmm. um, in time and uh, in. Uh, layers of, of different systems in our body and um, our emotional functions. And, mm. Yeah. I agree. The atomization was a good word because it's very radical to look at the entirety. People say, well, I like a holistic health process or a health system or a holistic practitioner. Well, we're not looking at just when someone comes with a shoulder problem, it's not that shoulder is way downstream of the problem. Very often in these muscle tension problems, the bully in the whole system is, is something that you can't even sense. It's a place that's tight that you're completely unaware of. That maybe those ribs are contracted and the shoulder's not well supported. And then, oh, well, these muscles are working really hard trying to hold up that poorly supported shoulder. The poorly supported shoulder's having all sorts of dysfunction. And... But what we're saying, like, to, my, to the best of my ability, I try and communicate my, my view of what would it take to look at the whole system as an entirety? What would it take to address it, the picture, that, to look that big at what's happening? Like, people say, I've got a stiff neck. Well, what about the rest of you? It's attached to the rest of you. Stiff neck comes from stiff body. And where is that stiffness? The stiffness is the most insidious problem because the stiffness is easy for it to be silent. It's, it's involuntary tension. It's active, actively being controlled by the brain, but we're unaware that it's happening. We can't feel the ferocity with which it is activated. But when we go up against it, say, oh, that's just how I am. I, I'm just a little bit stiffer. Oh, I can't look in the blind spot when I'm driving. It's restricted. Well, okay, how do we change that thing that's outside your control? How do you take that place back, welcome it back? As That's part of you. I'm going to welcome it back. And this is how people can be whole again. I believe this is a very efficient path. There's other paths that are similar, other somatic modalities like Feldenkrais, but... This is a very targeted, direct line to what I believe is the way to most efficiently reconnect back to what you've lost. That's what this process is.